this one we're going to look at a little bit of fun. Um, the Baker Cycle. So uh, play like, yeah, shit, and then criticize <laughs> by the media, underdog mentality, beat an inferior opponent, call out doubters, <laughs> and then the cycle repeats and repeats. Uh, but now the inferior opponent, uh, we're starting to move that up a couple of notches. Um, so we need to we need to also kind of speed up the cycle as well. We might, we might have to put two or three of those together um, so that we get out the, um, the play increases for every Sunday. So we have to figure a way to, to um, speed up the Baker Mayfield cycle. I mean, maybe just take that top one out so we don't have to deal with any, any of those games <laughs> from Baker as well. <laughs> I mean, I mean, look, I, I don't know if Cincinnati is legitimately a contender to win the AFC North, but this was a big game against a team that was ahead of the Browns. There, there's no debating that. Joe Burrow and the Bengals are a good offense. They added a lot of defensive pieces. I think they're a good team, maybe playing a little above their heads, maybe – a little ahead of schedule right now if they continue on this pace. But this was a good win on Sunday to go on the road, especially with the way the Browns had been playing, and they were in a little mini slide. So to go on the road and beat the Bengals like they did, it, it really does mean something. And now you get to go to New England and play a team that is better than the Bengals but is also still a little flawed and a team that the, the Browns should, I would think, be able to beat. But this is just another huge AFC matchup. The, the, the Patriots are – as well coached a team, as we know, Mac Jones is playing well. Their defense is excellent. This is another great test for this football team and a chance for Baker Mayfield to maybe remove that play inferior inferior opponent bubble out of that cycle as well. And, yeah, and the one thing I'll say, I, they are well coached without question, but they don't have the type of offensive players that the Bengals had that kind of – you kind of go, ooh – you know, if this guy has a huge, you know what I mean? And, and they're good, don't get me wrong. You know, you, you've got Hunter Henry, you, you've got, you know, Damian Harris. Uh, but there's nobody like Jamar Chase or even T. Higgins where you go, man, how are you going to stop him with the Patriots? Yeah, I, I mean, in a lot of ways, they're, they're almost like the poor man's Browns on offense in, in some areas. Like, they, they have good running backs, but they aren't as good as the Browns' backs. And obviously, Kareem Hunt, we don't know his status yet, but even if it's just Nick Chubb, they have a good offensive line, or at least they want to have a good offensive line, but it's not as good as the Browns. You know, even their weapons on the outside, you know, neither team has – incredible weapons on the outside necessarily but the browns guys are still better you know maybe the patriots have better tight ends but the browns guys are fine i just i think offensively when you look at that patriots team there's some similarities to this browns offense but i i think what they have talent wise kind of across the board is a step below what the browns have.